Hello, welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul Neal, as always, and I'm here to speak to you about Jason Malumbi and his loan move to Preston. But before we begin, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. They've just launched the Lawnmower 3.0 in the Republic of Ireland. You could be one of the first people to get this product. It is perfect for when you're trying to trim those hairs down below. And also it comes with an LED light so it allows you to find those rougher edges a lot smoother and obviously it works in the shower so it is waterproof so you can use it down there but you don't always have to just get that product there's lots of other products on their website at manscaped.com use the code IFFTV for 20% off and free shipping check it out in the description should Roy Keane return to management he's obviously on Sky he's doing a I suppose you'd say he's doing a great job as a pundit because a lot of stuff he does actually say does tend to come off but has a bad reputation obviously with Ireland and um, things didn't go that well towards the end obviously doing well as an assistant manager when we got to the Euros and stuff like that so credit where it's due towards the end it didn't go too well himself and Martin O'Neill went to Nottingham Forest but in terms of his own management career I think since Ipswich I don't think he's managed a club he's come out and said a few times that he would like to become a manager again I know he said it in that off the ball Roadshow um, thing with Gary Neville. He said he'd like to get back into management. It'd be nice to get a couple of interviews and something like that. So I think he's that. I think he's calmed down a little bit in terms of what he's saying as a pundit. He's not as I suppose harsh. I seen him today. He was very complimentary, like Spurs and stuff like that. I think he's kind of using that as a window for him to show that he can make sense and at the same time he can be. I suppose at times not an absolute psycho. Whereas obviously at times when he wants to go bad, he can be and he doesn't care who he who he hurts or goes mad at but do you think uh, going back into management could be a real possibility and if so who would you think would be a good fit for him yeah I, I don't know if it is Paul I think part of the problem I mean Roy Keane was a great player I mean certainly one of our greatest ever players arguably our greatest ever I know some people will say he was our greatest ever but part of the problem for some of these players is when you're a manager, you're managing players, sometimes all the players that have never been at Roy Keane's level. And it can be very difficult to relate to that, to relate to their ability, to their desire, to their work ethic. And uh, and I think that's that's caused him problems. And it's a tough one because if you're going in as a, a manager. I mean, uh, Wayne Rooney is uh, someone who certainly seems to be doing really well at the start in Derby. I know they were beaten yesterday. But uh, it can be very difficult to start down the level, do down the leagues, down in the championship. But then, as a, a top player, are you going to get a top club and test the water with the best players that... Uh, I suppose Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you could say, has got Manchester United now from effectively moulded. But even he struggled at, at Cardiff initially. And OK, top of the league now could potentially win the league. But um, I, I don't think Roy Keane is going to get a top club at this stage. I saw he was mentioned at Celtic and he was reasonably high in the betting. But I think he's gone way down in the betting since. And I think, no, sorry, Neil Lennon, I know, is in a job. But if if the Celtic job would become vacant, and uh, there are certainly rumbling from that. I know Roy Keane had been talked about, but I don't think that's realistic anymore. Um, I, I don't see him getting even a championship club at this stage, or certainly not one of the top championship clubs. And uh, I think it would be very difficult for him. And uh, so he did do well. He did well at Sunderland, but he also he struggled big time, and I think it, it ended badly as Irish manager and uh, certainly if the well the reports or if you listen to the WhatsApp uh, recordings or anything like that um, it, it doesn't it doesn't go well so um, I, I don't actually see him getting uh, a top manager's job in, in England or Scotland at this stage Um I don't know, would he go abroad? I mean, I know he was linked with was it the Azerbaijan job, but uh, he would have had to go and live in Azerbaijan for that, which I don't think he was willing to do. Would have been very interesting, actually, given that we subsequently drew them in the World Cup if he was managing against Stephen Kenny, but obviously it's not going to happen now. But uh, so, uh, I don't know, Paul. I don't, 
I don't actually see him going into management anytime soon in a top job. And I don't know if it would suit him to be down the leagues. And uh, I think he would struggle. There's been a lot of... T- you sound like you're a little bit underwater again. I don't know if it's your mic or whatever. But um, Roy was linked with the Salford City job which I think if he did do that, it would make sense. He goes to a lot of their games. I think he lives near there in Manchester. And you know, obviously, Gary Neville and all those United players. Oh, Sterling with a peach. Uh, top bins again. But oh, I think Roy Keane... Kick, yeah. yeah, I think Roy Keane going to Salford would, would make sense. I think they've got a new manager in there now. I'm not too up to date with Salford. I know Richie Tell's there. That's about as far as I know about him. I've watched him on Sky Sports in a documentary, but... In terms of them, I, I had heard he's been linked there. I know he's been in a lot of their games. So that could be something. Obviously, Skulls, all the class of 92, all those lads are involved there who would know Roy quite well. And Gary Neville would obviously be working with him on Sky as well. So I think they, they could potentially look at him in the, longer, in the longer run. Maybe not right now, but in the longer run, he could be someone who could get them up the leagues. I think that's someone who they maybe want, but it... it it would be an awkward conversation if they were to uh, sack him, how that would go as well, if he did get the job at the end. But I think that's a place where he could realistically go. I don't realistically see him going to Celtic or anywhere like that, but I do think a Salford would probably tick the right bo- boxes in terms of not having to move, in terms of knowing the surroundings of the club. He'd probably know the history of the club. He'd know what's expected of him. He'd go in there with a really good reputation. So all the things there, I think, would make sense. Um, if he was to go back but he seems to want to get back into management really badly and he seems to be really missing it I think in his own head he sees himself as a Manchester United manager one day especially if Solskjaer has come in there I know Solskjaer has done well recently but I think he sees himself as a Manchester United manager one day even if that opportunity probably looks like it's gone but he's been an assistant manager in a lot of his last couple of jobs so it will be interesting to see how he got on as a full time manager you know well, I, 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 I mean, there was talk that he could be the next Irish manager after Martin O'Neill. I mean, had things gone or ended differently, I, I don't see that. I, I don't think it's realistic. I don't think we'll ever see Martin O'Neill manage Manchester. Or sorry, Roy Keane right. manage Manchester United. We won't see Martin O'Neill manage Manchester United either. Um, I don't think we'll see Roy Keane manage uh, Manchester United. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I might Neither bring up an example. I'm just saying he probably sees okay. things in his own he might, head. He might see it. I mean, I'll bring up an example of I, I know you probably won't appreciate this one, Paul, but I will talk about a younger player who was also a great player, and that's Stephen Gerrard, um, fantastic player with Liverpool. And, and Rangers took a chance on him, effectively, as manager. And uh, he has done a phenomenal job. And I mean... He, and he is well in the race to be the next Liverpool manager. And uh, certainly, actually, if you're saying it, not that Jurgen Klopp is going anywhere anytime soon. But um, if he was to go, for example, go back and take the German national team for 2024, which I know is what they want, actually. But um, if Jurgen Klopp was to leave, I mean, Steven Gerrard, he's on his way to... Uh, effectively, he has already won the, the title in Scotland. And... Uh, has proven himself as a young man, turned from a player. Now he was lucky to get, let's say lucky. He probably to get a, to go in at a top club as opposed to, like Wayne Rooney, have to go in at a derby or something like that. And it can be very difficult to prove yourself in the championship or lower down. But, I mean, he would be very much, I think, in the mix to be the next Liverpool manager. And. Uh, I, do, I think it's probably past Roy Keane by to, the chance to be the next Manchester United manager or something like that. Uh, maybe he was hoping to get the, the Celtic job. I think it's probably unlikely at this stage. And uh, I don't see, even if he took the Salford job, I don't know how realistic that is. I, can't, I don't even know who the manager is. I mean, how successful do you have to be there? I mean, you'd nearly need to bring them up to the Premier League or something to make a name for himself to be considered for the Manchester United job. And I think he's just, there's been too many years since he stopped playing that he hasn't been successful at management to get a chance to manage a club like Manchester United. And uh, plus, well, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is doing so well there at the moment and they're top of the league, could well win the league. I know I said last night, I actually think Man City will win the league, but I think Man United have got to have a great chance. 
Yeah, but I just think it's it's gonna have to be one of those where we'll see about the next kind of couple of months. I think he's not doing himself um, any harm being on Sky and being in and around the football circles. I think that's actually working out well for him. And I know he's made a point before saying he doesn't like people going on TV and giving interviews, and he's a, he's a hypocrite in that regard. But I think people enjoy it whether he stays on Sky as a pundit or not. I think people enjoy listening to him. I think he always has an interest and insight. Well, sometimes he can just be saying stuff, it seems, just to get a reaction. But sometimes he can talk a lot of sense as well. I think people, football clubs and stuff like that, will be looking at that and saying, you know what, we might take a risk on him. I mean, if someone like Joey Barton can get a job with Fleetwood Town, I think Roy Keane could definitely get a job because he's a bit mad as well, you know. Does Does he want to manage someone like Fleetwood Town and just be mediocre? Get right now. Yeah, but it's just, I mean, Joey Barton is, well, I mean... They're, they're a very small town. I think, I mean, one of the jokes when Sunderland were playing them, that uh, the Sunderland away support is bigger than the, or the Sunderland home support anyway is bigger than the whole of Fleetwood. I mean, you, you mentioned Gary Neville there as an example. Gary Neville is a superb pundit. He went and he managed to get the Valencia job, which is obviously a top job in Spain. And, and effectively, he failed. And I mean, yeah, but he, he, he failed. had it, genuine reasons for failing. Though. There were genuine reasons, and there were issues, and there's, there's huge financial issues with Valencia. But I mean, he's back now, and he's a superb pundit. And I actually love listening to to Gary, or Gary Neville. I really enjoy Roy Keane and Sky Sports. So, from a selfish point of view, I'd rather have him on TV as a pundit because he is box office. He's great to watch, but. I think Roy Keane, he may want to get back into management, but I think he would only want to be a manager. Or his aim would be to be a manager at a top, top club, something like Manchester United. And I, I presume Manchester United is actually his ideal job. And uh, I, I just don't see it happening. I don't see it being, being possible. I don't see it being that he would go to someone like Salford City, that he'd be happy doing that for... A year or two, I, I know they've actually got quite a bit of money behind them and uh, with the class of 92, etc. But is he going to be impressed enough at Salford City? Is anyone going to impress enough down in League One, League Two to get to be the next manager of Manchester United? It's not it, It's not going to happen. I mean, there's just so many top managers around these days across the world that would be well ahead of him in the, the pecking order. I just don't see it happening and I sadly a, 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 a great great player but I, I don't see him becoming a great manager I think it may already have passed him by I think I think money talks I think if he was given an offer for Salford or someone like that I think he would go into it I think why wouldn't he what's he got to lose you know he wants to become oh, a manager and he's got backing behind him Salford want to get themselves up through the league I think that would be the perfect scenario for him but uh, it's a, it's only hearsay for now, you know. Yeah, I, I I don't know if it's about money. I think Roy Keane has made enough money in his career, and he can probably make more money as a pundit than he would as a manager. I think he probably has the desire to be a manager and to be a top manager. But um, so yeah, if he maybe we'll see what happens, and uh, maybe save the video and prove me wrong in five, ten years' time when he's manager at Old Trafford and winning the Champions League or winning the Premier League. But for me, I, I don't see it happening. I don't see him ever managing at a, a top club. But, uh, but I'm not saying that he's going to be Man United manager. What I'm saying is that he probably thinks of himself one day as being a Manchester United manager. I'm not saying that he's going to do brilliant with Salford and then become Manchester United manager. I'm just saying that he probably, because he's mad. He's mad in the head. Like. He probably thinks that he's going to be Man United manager one day or he has aspirations if they needed a caretaker manager like Solskjaer came in. I imagine he sees himself as that and that's why I think he'd like to be in management, um, in, rel in relative circles, day-to-day -day management, that if that opportunity ever arose in the future, he wouldn't be so long out of the game that he would be able to to come in and, and do something. That's what I foresee anyway in the future. I think, um, or Celtic, one of those, I think one of those he, he could end up at in a caretaker role in the future if they were really struggling for someone to come in um, just to maybe see it out for a couple of weeks or months or whatever. But uh, I do think he should return to management in some form. Um, maybe Apoel will sack their manager in a couple of weeks and Roy Keane will be the manager there. That would be interesting. 
they, this yeah. actor manager every few months. But I mean, but if you're talking about, I mean, someone like a former player, you've got Wayne Rooney. We talked about him earlier on. I mean, he's making an impression. I know it's early stages in Derby County, but there's someone that could well become a, a future manager of Manchester United. But uh, I think he wants to be an Everton manager, to be honest. Oh, maybe maybe a future manager at Everton as well, Paul. That's true. But um, oh, I think he said that before. That's that's the only reason I'm saying it. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's uh, why not. They they were his um, obviously his original club, his boyhood club, etc. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I think that's it. Let us know your thoughts. Anyway, do you think that uh, Roy Keane should return to management? And uh, don't forget to like this video as well. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to follow us, our handles are under our names there. And if you want to check out manscaped.com, use the code IFFTV for twenty percent off and free shipping. We'll speak to you later on. Thanks for engaging. Thanks for getting involved. And uh, we'll be on again during the week, I'm sure. Okay, thanks, guys.